English learners, welcome to another great lesson with English Pod. My name is Marco. And I'm Erica. So, Erica, how are you today? I'm doing pretty well. And I think we've got a good lesson today, a really helpful lesson. What are we talking about today? We have an elementary lesson about making an appointment. All right, making an appointment. Yeah, that's really helpful. I guess you have to make appointments for the doctor or at work, at maybe, work, or、personal. with your friends. Yeah. yeah. So, this is language that you can use every day to make appointments. Great. Well, so why don't we take a look at our vocabulary preview? Vocabulary preview. We only have one word today which you need to know to understand this dialogue, and it is financial advisor. Financial advisor. Financial advisor. So, what is a financial advisor? A financial advisor is a person who gives suggestions or recommendations about investing money. Someone who wants you to put money in the stock market. Okay. Great. I guess we're ready now to listen to our dialogue for the first time. And as always, it's going to be at a normal speed, but you don't have to worry about it because we'll come back and teach you all the important words. Hello, Fairbrook Consulting. How may I help you? Yes, this is Julianne Horton, and I'm calling to arrange an appointment with Miss McNeely. Certainly. What day were you thinking of? How's Thursday? Does she have any time available then? Um, let me double check. Unfortunately, she's booked solid on Thursday. How does next Monday work for you? Actually, I've got something scheduled on Monday. Can she do Tuesday? Sure, Tuesday's perfect. May I ask where you're calling from? Sure, Merton Financial Advisors. Oh, actually, Tuesday's no good. Sorry about that. Well, I guess Ms. McNeely does not want to speak to any financial advisors. <laughs> yeah, I guess she doesn't really want to invest in the stock market, huh? Or maybe she just gets too many phone calls from yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have money, I guess you'll get phone calls from people like that. I guess we don't have that problem, <laughs> hey? No, we don't. Okay, let's start with our language takeaway for today. Language takeaway. So, four words today. The first one is available. 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 Meaning that you are not busy. That you're free. You're free. You're not busy. Exactly. Let's move to our next word. Double check. Double check. Double check. Double check. I think we've got some examples of this phrase. Example one. Do you have the tickets? I. I think so, but let me just double check. Example two. I thought I sent that email already, but let me double check. Okay, so double check basically means to check something twice. Exactly, to check it again. Check it again. Okay. Our third word for language takeaway today is scheduled. 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 S C H E D U L E D. Scheduled. Scheduled. So when you have something scheduled, it means that you have something planned. Planned, right? Yeah, or booked at that time. Booked at that time. Yeah, we've got a lunch scheduled this afternoon, don't we? Yes, we do. All a right. A great lunch. Looking forward to it. And our last word for today is. Booked solid. Booked solid. Booked solid. B O O K E D. Booked solid. So we have some great examples on how you can use this great phrase "booked solid" and you can understand what it means. Example one. I can't get a hotel room. They're booked solid until after the new year. Example two. I'm sorry, there are no seats available on these flights. We booked solid over the Christmas holidays. Example three. Sorry, I can't meet with you today. I'm booked solid. Okay, great. So booked solid basically is you have no free time, no available time. 
Right. So you've got appointments scheduled all day. All day, great.、Mm-hmm. So with this in mind, now we can listen to our dialogue a second time. This time it's going to be slow, so we can understand a little bit better. Hello, Fairbrook Consulting. How may I help you? Yes, this is Julianne Horton, and I'm calling to arrange an appointment with Ms. McNeely. Certainly. What date were you thinking of? How's Thursday? Does she have any time available then? Um, let me double check. No, unfortunately, she's booked solid on Thursday. How does next Monday work for you? Actually, I've got something scheduled on Monday. Can she do Tuesday? Sure, Tuesday's perfect. May I ask where you're calling from? Sure, Merton Financial Advisors. Oh,、uh, actually, Tuesday's no good. Sorry about that. Okay, so now it's a little bit more clear, and with this, we can start with putting it together. Putting it together. There's some great examples in this dialogue of phrases you can use when you need to schedule an appointment, and we're going to look at those today. In the dialogue, we heard Julianne ask about making an appointment, and she said this: "I'm calling to arrange an appointment with Ms. McNeely." I'm calling to arrange an appointment with Ms. McNeely. So this is a great way to schedule an appointment to、mm-hmm. ask for some time from somebody else. Yeah, and we have some more examples of this phrase. Example one: Please book an appointment for next week. Example two: Please schedule an appointment for next week. Great. So after that, when you're scheduling an appointment, you need to suggest a day when maybe that person has time. Yes. Let's listen to what they said in the dialogue. How's Thursday? Does she have any time available then? How's Thursday? Does she have any time available then? You say, "Well, how's Thursday or how's Tuesday?"、Mm-hmm. And maybe that person doesn't have time that day, so they'll say something like this: "Can she do Tuesday? Can she do Tuesday?" Okay, Erica. So. If I want to have a meeting with you, I would say, "How's Monday sound?" or "How's Monday?" Monday's no good.、Uh, I'm busy all day. How's Tuesday? Sorry, Tuesday's no good either. <laughs> What about Wednesday? Okay, Wednesday works. All right, great. Wednesday's perfect. Okay, it's great. So we have a meeting on Wednesday. Okay, yeah, those are some <laughs> great phrases. Hey, for scheduling an appointment. Yeah, they're really good. Okay, so now we can listen to our dialogue a third time, and we're ready to understand everything that we've just talked about. Hello, Fairbrook Consulting. How may I help you? Yes, this is Julianne Horton, and I'm calling to arrange an appointment with Miss McNeely. Certainly. What day were you thinking of? How's Thursday? Does she have any time available then? Um, let me double check. Unfortunately, she's booked solid on Thursday. How does next Monday work for you? Actually, I've got something scheduled on Monday. Can she do Tuesday? Sure, Tuesday's perfect. May I ask where you're calling from? Sure, Merton Financial Advisors. Oh, actually, Tuesday's no good. Sorry about that. The language in this dialogue is really useful, isn't it, Marco? Yeah, it's from an everyday situation. You always have to make appointments at some point. Yes, and like we said earlier, it's language you can use when you need to talk about work with your boss, maybe, right? Or、uh, when you need to do daily things like go to the doctor,、mm-hmm. or even when you're planning something with your friends, right? Yeah, you can use this in all those situations. In all situations. Uh huh. Great. Well, we're out of time now, but I hope you enjoyed our lesson and found it useful. And if you have any questions or comments, please go to our website at EnglishPod.com, where we'll be there to answer everything. Yes, we will. So thanks for listening, guys. And until next time, bye. goodbye.